Hello, Leo. This is you versus them for the 5th through the 11th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what you guys were dealing with before in the past. What's been going on with Leo here? Eight of Wands, traveling, um, communicating a lot, maybe online communication even. Hmm. Or wanting to communicate with someone, wanting to tell somebody how you feel about them, you know, where it is that you want to go with them even. This person's seven of wands, feeling like they need to defend themselves, maybe against you, maybe not. Um, but I feel like this person is trying to make sure that whatever it is that they're doing, that they succeed at that. And they are not willing to let anyone get in the way of that, okay? <clears throat> Leo energy definitely there and um, Sagittarius with Eight of Wands here let's see what's keeping them you from them what's keeping Leo from this person the lovers hmm maybe you guys are actually like communicating with someone else you know you're interested in someone else here um, maybe you guys have chosen someone else over this person. Gemini energy there. Maybe there's not enough attraction with this person even. Or you feel like this person is involved with someone else. Okay. Let's see what's keeping them from you guys. What's keeping them from Leo? Two of Swords. Not being sure about... Um, not being sure about you guys actually uh, really not trying to see the truth not making a decision staying very indecisive you know just not making a move um, this person may have blocked you guys out as well okay let's see what's currently going on for you guys Leo what's going on for Leo currently What's going on for Leo? Ten of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you guys are actually in relationships where you feel um, you feel good in this relationship. This person's giving you the emotional fulfillment that um, that you want. Uh, they are you're sexually attracted to them. You feel drawn to them. Um, you guys communicate a lot. You know that sort of thing. Let's see what's currently going on for them. What's currently going on for them? Healing, changing, um, following their path that they feel is, you know, what they're supposed to be doing right now in their life. For sure. That's good. Let's see what's influencing you guys. What's influencing Leo right now? Ace of Wands, starting over feeling very um, intent and content and happy about you know something new that you guys have started here I feel like um, this is all about a new relationship or a new endeavor even you guys loving yourself starting to, starting to date again um, feeling very energetic and very excited about something here okay starting over starting anew Let's see what's influencing them. What is influencing them? The Eight of Cups. Walking away from indecisiveness, following a path that they feel like they're supposed to be on is what they're doing. Leaving behind, um, you know, this indecisive nature or, you know, feeling stuck at a crossroads. It's like this person is making a decision in their life where they feel like they are following their destiny, their path here, okay? Aquarius, um, Piscean energy here, maybe Libra. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. What's coming in for Leo? What's coming in for Leo? King of Pentacles. Some of you guys are getting married, I feel. Um, maybe asking somebody to get married or either somebody's asking you to get married. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, I feel. But, you know, a very supportive energy. Very supportive, very committed energy um, coming in for you guys, okay? Let's see what's coming in 
for them? What's coming in for them? What's coming in for them? Knight of Cups. Dating. Um, offering their emotions. Um, extending their love to, you know, projects, people, things. Doing things that they are um, excited about. Things that make their heart sing. Even moving on. Um, with this healing energy, maybe they are into healing work and spreading the word that way, um, spreading the, the positive energy. Good things here. Let's see what's currently blocking you guys. What's blocking Leo? What's blocking Leo? Two of Swords. Hmm. Being in two minds. Being in two minds. Not really being decisive um, about what it is that you really want to go towards because I get the feeling that there are some very deep feelings here for this person very deep feelings here and I feel like you guys know the truth I feel like you know the truth I don't see any action being taken here but I feel like you're still you know kind of thinking about this person this person's still on your mind even if you guys haven't um, you know have started over with someone else but there there's there's something that you're holding back you guys are probably not even speaking have not spoken in a while but there's still something that um, you feel for this person deep down inside that you're not talking about here okay let's see what's blocking them what's blocking them hmm. the eight of wands communication hmm maybe you guys are at a distance from each other um maybe they are actually like blocking communication um they're walking away from it, not receiving it okay um there there's absolutely no communication here this card wanted to come out so i'm gonna flip it over yeah they're trying to move on by themselves here they're really just not trying to use any emotion. They're not trying to have any contact. Um, they're trying to just get over, you know, whatever it is that's had them, like, trapped for a long time. Walking away from it, okay? So, let's see what the advice is for Leo. What's the advice for Leo? Strength. Make a decision. Make a decision. Address, address, you know, your feelings, I, I feel. It's, it's to really kind of explore your feelings and make a decision that way. Reasonable and logical decision that way. Okay. If there is forgiveness that you need to, to have for this person, I think this is that. You know, actually forgiving this person, not for the person, but for you. Okay, um, because there's something about this individual. I think you you really they're heavily on your mind here, and you're still not you're still not sure, you know, if moving on from them is the right thing for you. Okay, let's see what the advice is for them. What's the advice for them? Hmm. <laughs> to get up. To keep moving all is not lost here all is not lost here in this situation I feel like this person is very regretful about things um, they're very hurt by certain things they feel like there is no love between the two of you there is no reconnecting for you um, and but it's to realize that um, there's still a love so very present here okay that's the advice for them. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. What is the outcome for Leo? The outcome for Leo. Four of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. I think that here with this Two of Swords, like I said, this person is still very much on your mind. And so what I feel here in the outcome is that you guys, even though, you know, I feel all this happiness going on here and I feel like there's somebody that's very supportive here that you feel attracted to, that you feel, you know, emotionally fulfilled with, I still get that in the end that you guys will not, you still will not be totally fulfilled because 
I feel like there's something still very present here with this individual okay so you're really not going to be all in with this other relationship if you guys are in a connection right now with someone else that you're really not going to extend that that second cup to this individual okay now this is the thing this could have absolutely nothing to do with another individual for some of you. For some of you, this is you guys um, wanting to communicate with someone just how you feel about them, okay? And thinking about this individual makes you very, very happy. Wanting to be there for them, wanting to start over, still being very indecisive right here because there's something about what happened between the two of you, you have a hard time letting go of. You have a hard time letting go of and really kind of being closed off because maybe this person has blocked you as well and they're indecisive as well about you. Okay? There's no communication here, I feel. So you don't really know where they're at. But I don't think you're opening up really to anyone here because I feel like there's something still very present here with this individual, guys. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is for them. Justice. Mm -hmm. This person will make a decision. Um, but th they're going to do what they feel is right here in this situation. Okay. They're trying to make a logical decision here, not really use their emotions to make that decision. They they're, they really want to do what is right here with the star and justice. And what they feel is right for them, I feel right now, is to walk away from the situation. Um, is to walk away from the situation. Because I get the feeling that you guys probably walked away initially physically. And um, this person was still very present. And so now they're just deciding to take their energy and um, their emotions away from this. But I get the feeling you guys, you know, you think about coming back with the Four of Cups. That they're, you know, even though this is nice, that this is a relationship, this is nice. But I don't think it's this person is what I'm getting from some of you, okay? So we have Libra, um, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Pisces um, energy here. Um, Gemini energy is here as well. Cancer and um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you soon.